Hello everyone, I'm Nikki of the Clouds. I received some questions about how I made the hand drawing tracking in my art videos. So I thought today I would do a quick guide on how you can do it too. So the program I use for the tracking is called Spud Tablet and it's available on each IO. And it is free, but you can also choose to pay to support the developer. I will put the link to this in the description below so you can easily access it. It features fully customizable graphics, it comes with a PSD file with the templates for both the tablet and the hand and this, the wrist with the pen and the other arm. And you can fully customize them, you can draw your own assets over that. And customizable tracking region, I personally have not played around with that, but you can try it out for yourself. And separate windows. So I only use the arm tracking thing, this one for my videos, but if you are a VTuber uh, that likes to do, you know, your model there, you can also use the tablet itself with a moving hand there. So let's go ahead and download it. So I can walk you through the whole process. So here it prompts you to either, you know, pay the price at how you want to support the developer, or you can just say, no thanks, just take me to the downloads. And here you see you can download the app itself or the Photoshop templates to customize the assets. So let's go ahead and download both of them so I can show you how both work. And they're not that big either, they come in a zip file. You then go to your downloads, unzip, uh, extract all. And as you can see, let me just make it large icons, it comes with a PSD for the arm template, the hand, and the tablet. Mine have the GIMP logo because I also have GIMP on my computer. But you can basically open this in most art programs such as Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint. Uh, those are the ones that I'm familiar with. But yeah, PSD usually works with most art programs. And let's go ahead and unzip the actual file of the tracking software. And here you can find a bunch of different things that make the whole thing work. The licenses. There should be a readme text. Yep, there we go. The readme in here. And just tells you all about the thing. It only tracks the cursor position and just animates on it, like, it guesstimates the placement for the animation of the wrist. Custom sprites, you can put them in the override folder here. As you can see, that's where everything is. Make sure to name them appropriately, arm PNG, hand PNG. Just make sure you don't have any duplicates. Like you don't want both the base arm and your customized arm. So just make sure you only have the main ones here. And then you, when you run the program, it will run the customized assets. And to just make it run and work, you just go ahead and run this exe. And here it is, it has a green screen and there's two windows, they're right behind each other. So for the this hand tracking to work properly, and you know, the uh, window, for it to be full screen, you have to full screen the whole window itself here. And let's just look at the uh, tablet templates really quick. Let's look at the... Um, okay, let's just open it with GIMP. The arm template, it shows you where your cursor should be for everything. It has a little guide on it there. And it has some guides here and notes. Uh, if you're making fully custom art, make sure that the pen tip is right there. This is where the wrist is. You can draw, I don't know. I've seen someone use a pixel art for this. They just put the little pen right here and it's all cute and pixely. I might do that for my own thing soon. And so to add the arm into your recording software, for which I use OBS, is you want to create a new window capture. Uh, call it the spot arm. I already have a spot arm, so I have to create a new one. As you can see, it will import with a green screen, and there isn't really an option to turn on transparency here. To combat that, you have to open filters, add a new filter here called chroma key. As you can already see, it's already looking transparent. That's because the chroma key is green, and already selected that by default. And so that is just basically how you get rid of the transparency. Let me put that back up here and here. It looks great and transparent and anything you put underneath it, it will look like you're drawing it. Yay, and it tracks your whole window as long as you have the window full screen. And yeah, that's how I do it. Leave a like if you found the guide helpful and subscribe and turn on notifications for more art content. 
Good luck in your art endeavors. Bye-bye!